A brand new Supreme Droplets video, boys. I'm gonna go broke over here, man. Like the last couple weeks, y'all have seen me going crazy. We just did Palace Carhartt, FTP. I dropped a band. Supreme, we've been going crazy, and Supreme is coming at us with another insane release. Like I'm legitimately getting worried. Supreme is dropping all of my favorite items so early in the season. I swear to God, if this shit dies off in a couple weeks and we get some dead ass drops, I'm gonna be pissed. Yet again, Supreme's coming out with some really good items in this drop list. I'm already seeing some sneaky profits, so we're gonna talk about my favorite resale items and just go for the full drop list. We got retails today, man. Oh, I'm getting spoiled, so drop a like you guys enjoy these videos. Expect a live cop. I'm hoping I'm gonna have my week one unboxing finished by tomorrow. I was editing it all day yesterday, so get ready for that video. And many more unboxings on the way, because we've just been buying so much stuff. I hope you guys enjoy this one, though. Let's get into it. Before we head into this drop list, I always have to remind you guys, if you wanna join my private cook group browser, we have been going crazy this season. We just killed it on this Palace Carhartt release. The boys got so many of these Pokemon on decks as well. I've been seeing some crazy pulls. And as always, every Supreme Week, we've been cooking up all the low-key flips. So if you guys want to join the group, get a free trial. Feel free to head over to the comment section, hit that top link, see if the group's for you. And we're now also offering PayPal. So if anyone wants to sign up with PayPal, feel free to do so. Let's get in this drop list. Just taking a look at this drop list, I'm like, bro, like, can we just slow down for a second? I never thought I'd be asking for a dead week from Supreme, but this beginning of the season has been electric, almost too much so. There's a lot to talk about, so let's begin. Um, starting off this dartboard set, Palace actually just came out with a dartboard collection with this exact same brand, Winmao. I don't know how to say this shit. Their dartboard was like, what, 98 bucks or something? This one is 498. Now, this is obviously a lot cooler. It's the full set, but I was seeing these were selling on the website for like under 150. How is this $500 Supreme? Like, I hate when they do this with accessories. Do they not realize like the cheap accessories fly off the website and these expensive as fuck ones? Like, half the time, I wonder what they do with the leftover stuff. Oh, I do think this is gonna still somehow sell out. It's probably decently limited, I would think. Um, but 500 bucks just kills profit on this one, man. It would be really cool to have in a man cave or something like that. Honestly, this thing's probably gonna look even cooler when there's a bunch of little holes all over from the darts when it's like used. Um, I'm not gonna be buying it. Like, I don't think I had to say that. At least it comes with the darts with the Supreme on them. Like, $500, I just cannot get over that, man. That is a crazy price to pay. If you're buying it, uh, Props to you, I guess. I was guessing this was gonna be like 200 or something. I thought that would be like double retail, the normal one. 500, forget about it, too risky. Let's move on to my favorite item of the week, American Psycho, man. This is such a sick collection. I'm so glad they're doing this collab. I did see they're also gonna be coming out with a t-shirt. So if these American Psycho items are too much for you, just wait for that tea. I have a feeling tea week's gonna be like next week or the week after. We've already seen some leaks of some of the shirts coming out, which usually does not happen. Um, but this sweater, Fellas, uh, I think it might actually have some profit. I can't lie. 178 does hurt. I was hoping for 158, 168, 178. I mean, it is a wool blend. It's gonna be a really nice sweater. I'm just, I'm looking at this green one, man. And I need it. I need the green one. Let me know your favorite color if you're gonna buy this, cause I've seen a lot of hype for this one all season long. You got nice branding, you got the American Psycho book cover. I've actually never read the book. I've only seen the movie, cause I'm not a freaking nerd, bro. Just kidding, I got bullied and shoved in lockers my whole life. The green colorway. It's just glorious on this one, man. I absolutely love it, and I definitely think it is the best colorway of the set. Black and the green, I think both are gonna perform pretty nicely. Now, I'm a little worried 178 does mean it's gonna be around 200 bucks after fees, which, that's gonna hurt the profit margins a lot. Like you're gonna have to get sales of up to 270 to really make a worthwhile amount off of these. I don't know how right away that's gonna be. I do think the green is actually gonna fly though. I have a feeling it's gonna sell out decently fast. Yellow I think is skippable even though I don't hate it, but it's really the green for me. I, I just really have a feeling on it. It's gonna be the best performing color. I don't know if these are really gonna be like a huge profit item. If you get XLs, I will say XL sweaters always perform better than the other sizes. That's what I'd be going for for profit. XL green I think is gonna disappear same with black unfortunately with the high retail i believe is going to be an item you're gonna have to hold on to to see it's worthwhile profit really wish this was like 158 168 that would have helped out a ton so it's kind of skippable for most people for those that have a bigger budget and can hold if you're able to get an xl i would risk it for that size because that's where you're really going to make the money off of this people really like horror stuff from supreme and they have great branding so i do see these aging up to 270 300 in a couple months but it's a couple months man you're gonna have to hold on to it this might be the item i buy this week though next up the baseball jerseys what have they done to you? 
Oh, my baseball jersey, bro. 188. Oh, oh my, bro. Inflate. This is an inflation release. Like, what is going on, man? This is ridiculous. 188 for these jerseys. That was a stab in the heart when I saw that. You guys remember my lookbook reaction? This is one of my favorite jerseys of the season. One of the coolest baseball jerseys I think they have made. It kind of gives me like FTP vibes a little bit. Um, and this green, the Kelly green in the Oakland A's color. Oh my God, it's so sick to me. It's definitely my favorite colorway. And I'd kind of assume that's the color that does the best, but at 188, man, oh, I just don't see profit on this one at this point. I hate to say it. Baseball jerseys usually are a longer hold than something like a football or hockey jersey. I don't know why, it's just something I've always noticed with the baseball jerseys. Um, you're gonna have to hold on to this for a decently long bit if you wanted to sell it. It's not right away profit, I don't think. 188 is too much for me, man. That's gonna be like $210. That's gonna be around $210 retail. That's like a 260 250 sale which is a ton of money that's just to really make like 10 or 20 bucks off of it i just they killed this one with the retail man i'm so disappointed i wanted to buy one of these for myself i can't even afford it like with all the other stuff this week i could not buy one right now I don't really recommend them at this point, man. Like, it is an item that, again, like, could age up pretty nicely over time. Other jerseys they've released, like the hockey and football jerseys from the first two weeks, are way better holds than this. I'm just not risking it. I have a little more confidence in the American Psycho sweater. I think it has more hype than this jersey, so I'm skipping it. Oh my god, bro. Fucking inflation is killing me. Next up, this leather varsity for $700. Like, $800. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Supreme, like we are not rich like this, bro. I just, this is getting outlandish, bro. Like these are so sick. Um, this is a very similar design to that iconic faux fur bomber that sells for racks now. Like those literally go for so much bread. Um, but this is 800, it's gonna be 880 after tax fucking forget about it dude i cannot i do think there's like a slight chance on it it's gore-tex i mean it's it's a really cool jacket i don't think it's gonna live up to that faux fur bomber hype like that was in the heyday of supreme and i think it was a cooler design than this um supreme leather jackets can do nicely i do wish it was a zip up and not a button up I feel like zip up's just a classier look for a jacket this expensive i wish this was faux leather that would have really made this a cooler item it's too expensive too risky at that price point the blue's gorgeous the black sick oh my god man 798 is is crazy so yeah this is gonna be a skip really cool item but dear god um next up the umbro items let's talk about these all together so first off we have the ripstop track jacket i actually kind of like these man i sort of prefer them over the pants i think i like the little inner color on the collar the white is really sick with the baby blue and that kind of teal like sea green they have on the black both of those are dope the orange is horrendously bad um i really like this umbro design i like the little badge they put on it first umbro collection they came out with actually performed really well over time Time, although it did have a lot bigger branding on it and I think it was an all-around better design Okay, what the fuck? I knew the first jacket did really well with the big supreme hit But this shitty ass one from last season also ended up banging on the market You will need to be patient. They start off pretty slow with sales, but damn this looks like a really dependable hold item I actually am giving a green light on this jacket again XL for a lot of these items man track jackets another item XLs always do better on I would say the track pants over the jacket personally, but the XL jacket specifically is a little more surefire just because you can predict the size better. I'm going to be skipping on both. Um, American Psycho work shirt. These are really dope, man. I, I love the, like, it's got the American Psycho hit. Of course, I love it. But I do have to say, I've owned a work shirt from Supreme before, and I don't really like the fit of it too much. Like, I'm not really a big fan. I had the old Honda Fox collab they did a while back. And it just, I don't know, dude. I wasn't really, like, amazed by the fit of it personally. So, I think these are kind of skippable. Um, I do think the sweater is going to do better. People definitely way prefer a knit sweater over a button-up like this. I I wish they did it on a different material like a corduroy i would have really liked that maybe like a quilted that would look sick really cool item um but it's not that much cheaper than the sweater which just is so much more surefire it has all the shit on the front like people want so i'm gonna skip on these work shirts the moleskin work jacket these are fucking awesome dude i really love this moleskin stuff it's really good material really high quality all three of these colors are delicious man a nice pink like peach color um the camo woo, that camo is barking bro like get it because there's a lot of bark on it but it is barking like a fucking hound um the black is actually pretty boring to me like the other two colors are just a lot better i think i would skip the jacket but these pants boys 
Woo, this camo, bro. I'm saying this camo. I might have to cop a pair of these as well this week. I really like them. Like, I'm usually not a big camo person. I do have to say, I think this is called like mossy oak or something like that. Probably the trendiest current camo that's out right now. Like the TikTok kids go crazy over it. I actually think these camo pants are gonna do really well. Maybe not right out the gate, but a lot of these double knees that are really basic like this actually perform insanely over time because so many people want them for the personal and most people buy them to keep. If you think about those kind of vintage almost Carhartt looking double knees they did last season those are going for crazy prices I have a black pair that it has sales of like 300 plus 188 is a hefty price for these I have to say they're a lot more expensive than that past pant they did this one is kind of a gamble I would really just buy this for the personal more so but this is a sleeper to me I'm like I really think these camel ones specifically are gonna hit 300 plus price point at some point in this season um, I'm gonna probably get a pair for myself because I really want to rock these dude I, I just sold my uh, true religion pants just like this said they're trueies but i sold them for 900 dollars, and i need to replace that camo in my wardrobe so i'm probably gonna be picking up these pants i would not be surprised to see the camo color pop off for these over time just not right away um we have the punch denim cam caps these are actually really sick to me dude i actually really enjoy these i love a nice quilted look um i'm probably gonna be skipping because i'm buying so much this week but the black one here I actually think it's a pretty solid hold. Only 48 bucks. People like the denim cam caps. I would go for the black one if you want some hold items this week. If you're not trying to do as expensive a card as I am, um, definitely a good pickup here. We also have the denim crusher to match. I do prefer the cam cap over this, but dude, I hate predicting crushers. They are so random and all over the place. These definitely have a chance. I would go for the black color again. Um, I would not be shocked to see these hit 100 bucks, to be honest. And they might even do it faster than the cam cap. I feel like crushers go up a lot quicker. These are really solid crushers, I have to be honest. I'm gonna be skipping, but it's a good like hold item. If you wanted a cheaper cart this week, I honestly think getting both these cam caps and crushers in black, it's not a bad idea. Go for the bigger size for the crusher. We have the washed panther hooded sweatshirt. I really do enjoy this one um, the supreme is a little bit obnoxious the gray color and the yellow are gorgeous I don't really like the navy the yellow with the blue is so dope actually the more I look but this gray is my favorite it's 178 so who fuck that man but this is actually one of my favorite hoodies from this season I don't really like the hoodies this year but this one I'm a fan of the yellow is the one I'd probably buy if I did pick it up I just can't really guess resell because of the high price point you have these dyed short sleeve tops um, these are actually pretty solid man this gray color like I really like the logo they did on this kind of reminds me of some guests a little bit um the gray is actually pretty nice the more i look at it i'm gonna skip s78 it's just too pricey for me but really sick personal maybe in like an xl it gets to over 100 something i wouldn't buy it being confident with resale loose fit striped shirt pretty basic we see one of these almost every season it's gonna be a skip enameled logo six panel these are really boring i'm not really a fan of them at all so those are a skip and we have the umbro beanie which I don't know why they got so crazy on the beanie. They kept the jacket and the pants so low key with just a little badge and then just blew it up on the beanie. So they're a little avoidable. Definitely the blue is the best color. The red kind of clashes on it though. I wish they just kept it white and blue and black. I'm gonna be skipping on all of these. The blue maybe has a chance. It's only 40 bucks. Like these beanies at 40 in this style are pretty good holds, but I'm not gonna risk it on this one. I just wouldn't be shocked to see it go up to like 70. That does it for the week though. Really high price points this week and a lot of sleeper items. This is definitely not a release for those that have a smaller budget or are looking to quick sell. I think the Psycho Sweater and the Camo Double Knees are my two favorites this week. Maybe that green jersey and like XL, double XL. I just am more confident with the sweater and pants. So those are my two picks for the week. Also the Black Crusher and Black Cam Cap I think are really solid pickups. But overall, a really dope week. There's some really sick perks personals here i'm so hyped on this american psycho sweater so get ready for the live cop we're gonna spend way too much money dude i literally am like not even joking with y'all i need to slow down i'm gonna have to start posting some stuff on seattle select i guess because i got too much shit to sell right now it's been your boy boone i'll see y'all in the next one man watch all the way through i really do appreciate y'all y'all my soldiers my brick army i'm out though peace